All right, everybody, Reaper here, and went out to Rich's today, did a video, but, you know, I called him up, we were talking, I can't show it. <laughs> I'm behind the scenes. His has to come out first. So, we're going to do some videoing of Dawn's tank. Uh, I already actually did some, but what we're going to do now, man, so many little fries, aren't there? What we're going to do now is she's going to feed them for you, so we're going to do a little feeding video. Now the loaches. Oh yeah, there's one right there. There's another one. There's another one coming out. There's more coming out. And more and more. <laughs> Look at them all. Yeah, they're still breeding in here. We thought we lost a bunch and we might have lost a few. You know, they come and go, but they're still out there. There's the one climbing out of his shell. He likes to hide in that shell. He's coming to join the party now. Probably, what, maybe in a week or so I can grab a couple of these and put them in my tank. What do you think, Don? Yeah. yeah, we'll grab a couple and put them in my 55, see if I can get them going. But a little feeding action. I'm very lucky with that. Mm-hmm. Some feeding action. Don's guppy tank. We still got a bunch of shrimp in here. They're in here. Yeah, look at them Coley loaches. And our Kobe cats. Okay. And then, uh, so basically I'm going to be showing you my tanks <laughs> to make up a video today to put out tomorrow. And then Rich's, I can't even tell you what it is. I, I want, it, it was a good time, I'll tell you that. We had a great time today. But you just have to wait, people. I'm sorry. But uh, that'll be coming out day after tomorrow. No problem. So uh, we got this tank going. And what I'll do is uh, I'll show the um, koi and the goldfish for a bit. And then I'll show my tank for a little bit. And somebody asked about uh, Colby and Noel. And so I got some video on him as well. And some updates on some of Dawn's plants. And then we will feed little dude. Yeah, it, it's time for his blood worm. So I like videoing him when we do the blood worms. He, it's so cool the way he takes them off my fingers. So we're going to do that. All right, people. Mm, somebody asked to see my little annul. Cole, you know, there he is, trying to keep him out of the light. Shadows are there, but, yeah, there he is. And we're going to the Kentucky Mammoth Cave, and that's May 9th, and last year it was either June or July, and that's when I bought them. So we've had them for just about a year now. All right, everybody, this is a brand new cactus that I just was given. And it's like one that Don bought me because I liked this one. It was one of, one of my friends. I've known him for 15, 17 years. But unfortunately, you know, things happen. And he recently, like last week, just moved back to Wisconsin. So before he moved, he brought some plants and things over. And that was mine. But that's the one he gave me. Also, he gave me this sucker. Yeah, hold that up, baby. And look Child at that, it. look at that big hunk of wood, but it's got the face in it. And the reason he gave me that is because years ago, I got a walking stick, you know, I do my hiking and all that. This is my walking stick, people. <laughs> in fact, the gentleman carved another face in front and back onto it for me. But this is my walking stick that I've had, some, well, there's a date on it since 2001 or something like that. But that was really awesome, Matt. I appreciate it. Sorry you had to go back. And he brought us a felt plant for Dawn. And I'll show you guys that here in a second as well. And that is the felt plant. And the reason it's called felt is because it feels like velvet or felt. It's amazing. And it's really long. There's a lot of little babies down here that Dawn will probably do some things with, you know. So thank you, Matt, again. 
And then Dawn's famous for knickknacks, so she picked this up, and we're like, what are you going to do with it? And that's what she did. Little succulents that she's got that's starting in each little globe. And it kind of looks neat. And what's even neater is, go ahead, flip the switch. Especially when you're sitting down in a chair at night, and like you're on this side, it looks like they're little globes. They each have a little candle in them. Kind of cool. But, yeah, kind of neat. And the only other plant I want to show today, Rich was talking about spider plants. Well, here is a spider plant in all its glory. <laughs> yeah, now that's a spider plant. Don's got a bunch of them going all over the place, so. <laughs> and of course, her orchid is still blooming beautifully. And she's got all the orchids that she got from Hillbilly Orchids. And they're doing just as good. Okay. And of course, we got just all kinds of plants everywhere, as always. Okay, now my 55. It's doing pretty good. Still trying to get rid of that. Got rid of most of it. And I switched out the bottom, you know, sponge filter for that. That way, when I redecorate, I got more, you know, room in the bottom they can do things with. And that works just great. Leaving all these snails in there because <laughs> that's the little dude's food. And you can see the two new mollies. Those are the ones I'm going to acclimate here. Probably in the next couple of days, uh, I had to get that RO system working, which it is running now, everything. It's all brand new. I never, ever used it. I started to look it up and never finished. So everything's brand new. Everything's working great, and it's doing good. So I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up, or it's already hooked up. I've been filling gallons of jugs, my jugs, because it's only got like a three-gallon container and I need, you know, it's a 15 gallon tank. I want to do at least five, a third, you know, if not, maybe a hair more. But, uh, so I got to get enough gallons there and get that ready, but I'll have them ready here. Uh, I had a couple gallons ready, but Dawn stole them for her orchids <laughs> because we realized we need them for that. And so that's what happened there. But no biggie, no biggie. And yeah, I got a couple little fries in there. I'm not sure whose or what they are, but uh, there's not a whole lot, but there are a, a couple little ones in there. So I'm not sure which, <laughs> won't know until they kind of grow up, you know? So, but I got to get some more fish in here, obviously. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm in no hurry. I mean, when I see what I want and this and that, and I want to try and do all males, don't want what Dawn has going on you know I know her tanks awesome but do want to get the loaches in here that'd be awesome if they do produce I mean I got no problem with them but uh, I don't want a tank full of guppies that's all uh, I do need some more neons I went to um, Agnaquatics but all they had were really little ones they were only a third this size or littler want to see uh, wait till I get some little bigger ones and I, I'm not sure what else. Some sword tails. I, I think they're cool. But, you know, we'll see. And we'll go right around the corner. These guys haven't been fed. And they want feeding. So, <laughs> they're going to be right here. And there's our shack koi fry. Well, no fry. Here's our shack koi baby. Never did give him a name, actually. I should. But, he's so cool. He's so neat. But, yeah, and I know everybody asks about Goldie and her bums, but their tumor, she's so old and she's just about getting blind now, but hey, she still senses, she still still does good, and you know, she's the biggest fish in there. This guy here, he's been catching up pretty good though, right there, look. Yeah, so, you know, and then eventually, I mean, you know, once they, I get rid of these guys, you know, eventually, He's going back to Big Rich. I don't know how long I can keep him, but man, I ain't sure gonna try and keep him for a while. This is a 125, and with luck, like Big Rich said, you know, we can uh, hopefully, about the same size and everything, just bigger and a little wider, we can get like a 240 or 220 or 260 in here, take its place and get more room. So. All right, well, what we'll do next is basically 
we're gonna feed little dude and show you him real quick all right everybody like promised uh kurt and i we're gonna feed little dude and uh he swims around a lot so it's hard to get it yeah the tank's emptied because i did a whole big thing in here there was so much algae it was like carpeting picking it up out of here so uh yeah it's been a major change got the ro going so i can do a major water change and then get those mollies acclimated and we'll get him you know we'll see how it goes hopefully you know they get along if they don't <laughs> i'll have to reacclimate them put them back into 55 in the meantime i'm gonna hand the uh phone over to kurt and he's gonna record me feeding him some blood worms yeah. He loves these suckers. <laughs> All right, oh, look at that. He's already up there. There's just a bit. Oh, yeah. It's a, oh, yeah. I'm going to back this off just a little bit. Hold on. Man, I can get closer. He loves, look at that belly getting mm. full already. <laughs> but he'll eat three quarters of a cube to a whole cube now. And we will redecorate his tank and everything. I'm just redoing everything because I want to get the mollies in. Hopefully he's got a little company. But he's doing so well. Yeah, go on and get the other ones, buddy. Like spaghetti. <laughs> Looking on top, you can get it. And you can feel them tugging it off your fingers. Mm -hmm. As John was here with his buddy the one time, and he stuck his finger in on the third time, he's like, Oop, yeah. <laughs> gets it all okay come on little guy come on little dude here it is good boy He's a bottle. Look at that belly. Yeah. And in these once a month feedings of the blood worms, because that's about all we do. You know, we give them the snails, and I have the krill shrimp mixture and this and that that I buy frozen. But no, we can't feed them blood worms all the time. But uh, after you can see what's left, not very much. No. I'll throw it in into the guppy tank and Don's tank they love it nothing goes to waste around here look at that he found it <laughs> oh yeah he's such a good little dude he's gonna get it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> all right little dude you're a good guy so he still sees it mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're calling that one but yeah that's good for him tonight Alright little dude, you have a good night. Alright little dude, had a great night. Thank you all for watching. Hit that share, like, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.